I'm Anna Trafalis and I work for the Athens Institute for Education and Research, which is a world association for academics and researchers. I'd like to welcome you to Athens interview series, where we interview the participants that attend our conference in Athens. Today I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Stephen Sims, who is head of acting and vice principal at, Birm at the Birmingham Conservatory in the UK. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Athens. Thanks very much. So, can you give us a brief academic introduction of yourself? Sure. My background uh, academically started uh, about 17 years ago mm -hmm. when I joined Birmingham School of Acting, as it was then called, um, to run a, a MA course in acting. I then ran a BA course in acting, a three-year course, and eventually I became the head of school. Uh, um, that school has since become part of Birmingham City University mm -hmm. and we are now, we've joined forces with the Birmingham Conservatoire which is a classical music conservatoire. Mm -hmm. So it's now one of the leading conservatoires of music and drama in the UK and I head up the uh, drama division, the, act, the acting division mm -hmm. um, and I'm vice principal there. Um, and uh, my, my interest in research is really research uh, through performance uh, about actor education, about the training of actors and uh, the different kinds of uh, performances that actors are required to, to undertake. Mm -hmm. so that's my background. Before that, um, I was a professional actor myself okay. for about 15 uh, or more years mm -hmm. and I worked with the Royal Shakespeare Company, uh, with Declan Donovan's Chief by Jowl, and with a host of other theatre companies, as well as in film and television. Yeah, so my background is practice, which is the name I've come into a kind of academic. Mm -hmm. right. So what did you present at the conference? Tell us a few things. Uh, yeah, my presentation was um, about a production of uh, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Mm -hmm. um, it was based upon the 1920s um, black and white silent movie. Mm -hmm. um, and I turned, I used that as a text and turned it into a theatre production. Mm -hmm. And my paper charted the uh, process of doing that, mm -hmm. uh, which wasn't just about using film as text, but was also about uh, the changes from expressionistic acting of the time. Mm -hmm. um, and so having to recreate that kind of acting and also find new ways of moving forward because it was a new piece I was creating. I wasn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't making um, a historical document, it was a new piece. So I was working with actors who had been trained in a, in a very naturalistic, Stanislavski-based training. Mm -hmm. And we used methods that have developed since the film. The film was made in 1920. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the methods that we used were from people who had inherited a uh, kind of expressionist uh, way of working. So Grotowski, or um, we used uh, Buto, Japanese Buto, which is, Japanese Buto is a movement um, technique that was developed in the 1970s in Japan. Mm -hmm. And it's about creating images inside your body. And those images lead to both uh, emotions and also to extreme uh, physical um, expression, mm -hmm. uh, which is exactly what we wanted in this in this piece. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we used more modern methods to kind of go back in time to try and find how uh, how the acting worked then, but also looking forwards to well, how, how does this help us to make new theatre today? Mm -hmm. So that's what my paper was about, mm -hmm. and it probably took me as long to explain as yeah. it did for the paper. Okay, so how were you introduced to the Athens Institute for Education and Research and what made you attend the conference? Um, I was introduced to it, um, I, I think I just uh, it just came up on, online. Mm -hmm. uh, I was interested because it was one of the few conferences which does have an area which focuses upon actor education. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of conferences are quite generalised in their themes um, and they might have theatre or drama. But actor education as a, as a very specific theme for a conference um, was something that attracted me. Uh, not just in terms of presenting, but actually I, I wanted to find out what the rest of the world was thinking. Mm -hmm. And so to come to Athens um, at an international conference and meet practitioners 
from America, from the rest of Europe, um, the, the, the people here from India, uh, from Africa. So that, that was great uh, to get an international perspective. So that's what, what, what really drew me. And, uh, and I've made new colleagues through the experience. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you very much.